Dear friends, today we are going to start a new portion that is prism. Now prism is actually an instrument which refracts the light. So here we are going to study some processes of light. Okay, in which we will cover refraction of light, dispersion of light, partial and total internal reflection. And on the most important thing that is of rainbow that normally we see in the rainy season. And this rainbow phenomena is actually due to the refraction of the light as well as the partial and total internal reflection. So let us see in detail about all this aspect. First of all about prism. Now what is prism you are familiar with? A prism is a triangular you know okay it is having the two bases are of triangular okay that is here you can see that in this picture here this is a triangular and the opposite of that this is the triangle like the two faces is of triangle and the other three sides okay three sides means you can say this is the one side this is the two side and this is the third side these third side three sides are of rectangle the here you can see okay this is a okay rectangular shape okay here it is a triangle okay so it is not like that now normally the prism we will show it as a triangle but it is not like that it is just a triangle it is okay here the two bases are is of triangle but other side three sides are of rectangle in shape okay so uh, it is the we can say prism is about okay this prism okay while telling about okay the there is an angle between the two lateral faces okay the lateral faces means these are the three faces okay three lateral faces among that you can see that there is an angle between these are the lateral faces okay this angle is called the what it is called the, the angle of the prism what it is called angle of the prism it is called okay so here we can say this is the angle of the prism okay like that this is the angle of the prism okay so like that we can mention that that is the angle between the two lateral faces okay is co called the okay angle of the prism now one uh, experiment is there okay video experiment is there of how the prism works okay that is given in on youtube link is i am giving in the comment box okay there you can go and you can see that how this experiment is performed now come to the prism now now what actually the prism is doing okay prism is already we see that it is do, what is it is the refraction of light now what is refraction that already we see okay when the light is passing from one medium to another medium it changes its path okay so here we can say this is of a rarer medium okay okay rarer medium and this is of a denser medium sure now when the light is passing from the rarer medium okay to the denser medium you know that it is always okay bending towards the normal okay this is the normal normal is a perpendicular down to that surface Okay, now the what is the rarer medium? You know, rarer medium is uh, in which uh, the particle is uh, not very close. Okay, now denser means uh, the particles are placed very closely. That is the denser medium. So we can say that air is a rarer medium, glass is a denser medium. So when the air, light is passing from the air to glass, you know that uh, the light will bend towards the normal because it is passing from that in discuss detail we discussed here so here it is like that you can see here okay now here you are seeing this pe red light this is this is a pe 
you are seeing okay now this pe is the incident ray what it is this is the incident ray now look n and n dash okay you are seeing here this is the okay n and n dash is the normal here now look this is the error now this is the angle of uh, what it is incident sure now this is the angle of emergence now you can see that this is the angle of emergence now this is very small as compared to this angle of incidence sure that is it is upper why because of this light is from okay from this here this is the angle of incident this is the angle of okay refraction now how, what is there here because it is coming towards the normal now again now it is passing through that this is the again refracted ray look it is the incident ray and this is the refracted that is ef is the look ef is the refracted ray sure now ef is the refracted ray then again okay from there again now it is the denser now what it is this is of denser medium sure now from here now it is again it is of a rarer medium okay now it is passing to the rarer medium now when it is again denser to rarer you know that it will again move away from the normal look here this is the incident angle here and this is the emerged angle because it is coming out this emerged angle it is called now here also you know that this angle is okay more than that of this angle okay so this is okay the here so here it is okay yeah this is f s you see this <coughs> f s okay this f s is the emergent ray what it is called it is emergent ray and the m m dash is the but actually it is the normal okay now here look now if you are extending this incident ray we are extending this incident ray okay it will go like this okay then okay now we are okay retracing the emergent ray retracing means it is backward it is retracing it so here an angle is formed sure you see angle d okay so this angle d this angle is the prism angle of the prism now angle d is the angle of deviation so how much the ray is deviated actually the ray must have to go like this sure okay but it is now it is going like this so this much deviation is there okay let's see okay let me erase all this okay now here look okay we can see here okay now look actually the how the light the light di direction of the light is actually like this okay that is the incident but how it is emerged it is emerged like this. when it is so retraced like this okay it is like this okay so this angle okay this angle is called the but actually this much deviation actually this much this is the actual direction of the ray but it is now it is passing through like this so this angle is called the divergent ray so here it is of a angle of a <coughs> okay angle of deviation sure all of you okay so here the angle of deviation is there okay this is the angle of deviation so understand what is angle of deviation okay the uh, it is the angle between the incident ray and that of the emergent ray okay now angle i is the incident angle of incident which is that this is the angle of incident okay next is the r is the angle of refraction that already you see okay this is the angle of refraction we can say okay and next is of e is the angle of emergence that is this is the angle of emergence sure and the angle of deviation that is d already we see it is okay this is about the okay prism okay this experiment is there okay that the uh, youtube okay link i will give okay that you go and see this experiment how actually it is performed so all of you understand about the refraction of light through a prism and also here the most important aspect is the angle of i'm uh, sorry not angle of the prism here the angle of deviation that is very important that is what is angle of deviation angle of deviation is the okay the angle between the incident ray and that of the emergent ray sure this is the incident ray and this is the emergent ray so angle between the incident ray and that of the emergent ray is called the angle of deviation so that is very important while considering about a prism 
so you understand it so we will go to the next okay that is here the dispersion of uh, white light by a glass prism now whenever we are uh, talking about this prism okay immediately which is coming in your mind is of uh, the dispersion okay what is dispersion means uh, okay we know that the light is uh, normally made up of uh, seven colors that is we called as webgeo okay that is so far okay seven colors now when this white light normally we will say white light is passing through a prism okay what this prism is doing it disperses disperses means separates okay it separates this okay bands of the colors okay different bands which is there in it is a okay separate it okay that is called the dispersion of the white light okay it is done by the glass prism here you can see the white light is here okay so when it is of uh, passing through the prism you can see that okay this is uh, okay divided into how many colors seven colors and these seven colors are called the okay uh, vibgeo what it is called it is vibgeo shortcut it is a vibgeo okay so what is vibgeo okay vibgeo is the short form of uh, okay the seven colors okay now it is of depends on the uh we can say the wavelength okay now wavelength of uh, shorter to higher we can say now here the first is of uh, violet okay then b stands for violet i stands for indigo b stands for blue g stands for green y stands for yellow okay and o stands for orange r stands for red okay so that is the vibgeo in shortcut we are saying it as vibgeo and it is there look here it is the from down to up okay so in this down to up you can you know the question is that okay how this violet came to the bottom of the okay this bat now the question is like now when it, why this violet came to the bottom the answer is that the length that is the wavelength of the violet is the shortest okay because of that okay this the most deviated okay among this colors most deviated is the violet okay you just remember it is very important okay because of the okay because of this uh, shorter wavelength because of the shorter wavelength or even we can say it as intensity also like that okay we say that the most deviated is the violet okay now because of the higher wavelength okay red is the least deviated you can say okay this is the least deviated okay that's why it is in the upside okay then like that it is while it is the most deviated then indigo a little bit less blue a little bit less again okay green yellow orange and the least deviated is the red it is because it's a wavelength is the maximum sure all of you so the band of colors components of a light beam is called a spread spectrum so what is spectrum what is spectrum the band of these colors is called a spectrum so a spectrum is formed we can say the process of now what is the dispersion look here the process of separation of light okay in the place of light you can write by light okay the process of separation of white light into its component colors while passing through a medium passing through a medium okay now here which is the medium prism is the medium okay normally it is maybe a denser medium okay the medium is called the dispersion of okay light sure all of you so what is dispersion the process of separation of light into its component colors while passing through a medium is called the dispersion of light sure so when the light white light okay passing through a prism okay what is forming okay it is uh, okay divided into okay different colors sure that is which are that colors okay that is how vibgeo that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red 
okay now the here you have to understand that how it is of the okay bottom which is which is there in the bottom okay wallet is in the bottom and red is in the now it is in this lesson it is very important aspects okay you very now and then this will come okay wallet is in the bottom and red is why wallet is in the bottom because it's wavelength is okay very less and uh, that of the red is the wavelength is very high so that most deviated understand that most deviated is the violet and least deviated is the red okay many uses there for it okay that is what the web geor you have to remember this web geor okay so that is the spectrum means this band of colored components of the light beam is called the spectrum so what is spectrum it is a band of colors is called the spectrum now white light is dispersed into the seven color components by the prism okay different colors of light bend through the different angle okay with respect to the incident ray as they passes through the prism yes the red light bends the least that is what i told you look here the red light bends the least and violet the most thus the ray of each color emerge along the different paths and thus become distinct distinct means separate so we can see we see separately why we can see separately these colors because they emerge along different paths okay because they emerged along different paths they can, therefore we can see them separately okay it uh, this it is the band of distinct colors that we can see in a spectrum sure all of you so that is about the dispersion of white light so when the white light passes through a prism okay what it will do it will separate the light into its component colors sure okay then this process is called the dispersion of light sure all of you now why it is happening you know that uh, here the okay red is the red is bending the least and the violet the most why it is happening because of the wavelength you can say that uh, okay wavelength of the violet the, is the is the shortest we can say and the wavelength of the uh, red is the okay largest that's why it is so i hope you understand all this okay then we will move to the next slide that is of uh, here now while telling about it in vacuum in vacuum actually what is the velocity of the light that is we can say okay it is the okay 3 into 10 raised to 8 you know that the velocity of a ray of all frequencies is same okay so normally it is the same only so in vacuum okay there is no dispersion only white light will be there because uh, there is what all are passing in the same okay velocity but the velocity of light in a medium depends on the frequency of the light okay yes here it is frequency of the light and thus okay different colors travel with a different velocity that is very important okay in vacuum there is no no there is no medium therefore almost all colors are passing through the same velocity okay that's why we can see this is a white light only it will be understand but when it is entered into the medium very important okay but the velocity of light in a medium depends on the frequency of that light okay frequency of light okay and thus different color travel in different velocity now the question is okay why the different okay colors travel with the different velocity because of the frequency okay because they are having depends on their frequency they are having the different frequency therefore they are traveling with the different velocity sure okay so therefore the refractive index of a medium is different for different colors so it is exactly what it is refractive index okay refractive index okay of a medium is different for different colors now refractive index already we studied there it is okay that is of a okay what it is okay sin a of a sin r like that we studied there okay so here the okay refractive index of a medium is different for different colors because you know that because the emergent okay uh, angle is different correct okay that's why it is okay so therefore the refractive index of the medium is different for different color thus even when the white light gets enter a single medium like glass the yeah, angle of refraction are different for different color understand so when even though it is when the uh, white light is entered into the glass correct but the angle of refraction are different for different because white is emerging you know that it is of divided into the spectrum 
okay so when the white light coming from the sun through the air in the semi refractive medium it emerges a spectra of seven colors yes it is the case that okay when the light is emerging coming from the through the atmosphere okay normally okay at that time only it started to divide into the spectra understand because in atmosphere means okay it is there is what actually there okay there is lot of particles are there that is atmosphere air is there but the small particles are there etc are there okay so the wavelength of the radiation to which our eyes is sensitive between the 400 to 700 nanometer it is nanometer okay nano means 10 raised to minus 9 it is okay it is you have to read as 10 raised to minus 9 that is a nanometer okay now so in the interval in this interval the radiation of different wavelength appears to have different colors now you know that here it is wavelength of radiation to which our eyes are sensitive understand that is uh, if it is uh, below the 400 it is not sensitive i bow 700 nanometer it is not sensitive okay so if it is between the 700 and 700 nanometer then it is okay sensitive okay this interval the radiation of the different wave appears to be different colors mentioned above so these are the coming in between these two wavelength which are 400 to 9 nanometer the red light has the maximum wavelength that is a 700 nanometer so 700 nanometer is the that of the which a red light and and that of the okay smallest i already told the white light have the smallest wavelength that is of a 400 okay nanometer this nanometer okay so 400 nanometer it is so this is the light that understand this already i was explained earlier okay now which is the maximum wavelength okay the red is having the maximum wavelength what it is it is 700 nanometer and uh, smallest wavelength is of uh, okay which uh, the violet that is is 400 meter okay so this is like that understand so we can see that okay it is so in vacuum okay the all the light is all the colors are passing through the same velocity so we cannot see the mean different colors but whenever it is centered into a medium okay the different colors started to travel with the different velocities sure so that we can see it in the different now here we can say that who whichever is having the least wavelength it will be it will be deviated the most and the maximum wavelength it will be deviated the least so that you know that okay this is divided into the seven colors that is a violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay yellow is the maximum deviated so it is on the okay bottom of the band and uh, red is on the top of the band because it is the least uh, deviated sure all of you okay then the next is uh, the isaac newton actually uh, students okay the isaac newton is the first uh, one who used this prism to uh, divide the colors into the seven that is when he was studying about it okay in his cambridge university lab okay he in a dark room okay what actually he did is he entered the light into it and he passed this okay by light through a prism okay he see that it is now divided into seven colors so he is the first person to observe that okay this white light can be divided into okay the different colors and he see that it is of seven colors okay now further he studied about it. he in the thing that okay now with the seven colors already i got whether it is possible to okay get more colors okay whether it is possible to more colors why you will you are studying with the two prism okay so when he was studying with the two prism okay he find that okay when this prism is in opposite direction that is here it is okay when the light the light is passing through the one prism and then the other is of a placed in opposite direction that is inverted okay then here it is dispersed into seven color that seven color is again entered into the other prism okay then this prism what did it is joined all this and a white light is emerged from it okay that is what he seen that that is when okay the light white light is passing through a prism that white light will be divided into seven colors then that seven color is passed through the another prism that seven colors will be combined to a white light okay that is that can be it is what the isaac newton observed that 
Understand? Okay, so then look here. When he is tried to split the colors of the spectrum violet further by using another similar prism, or he could not get any more colors. That is the maximum. Only seven colors are there. Then he places the prism, sec second identical prism in inverted position. That is what ulta. Okay, that is one is kept like this, other is of inverted like this. Okay, here it is of divided into the colors. That is passed here. Then here it is of into singularities. Understand? That is what here it is. Okay, this allowed all the colors of the spectrum to pass through the second prism. He found a beam of white light emerged. What is found? A beam of white light emerged from the side of the second prism. So he observed that is gave the okay Newton idea that the sunlight is made up of seven colors. From that he understands that the sunlight is made up of seven colors. That you know that the disk experiment also you know that okay that is in the exhibition and all normally we put it is like the, the seven equal parts we divided okay. That then what we will do is okay we violet indigo blue green yellow orange red okay like that okay then we will when we rotate this you can see that it is white you will see okay because it is of okay see it is white okay that is sunlight is made up of okay these seven colors that is what the isaac newton concluded there okay so we will move, move into the next okay that is of a partial and a total internal reflection Okay, this is also very important aspect, partial and total internal reflection. Okay, now what is what is the reflection that already you studied? That is reflection. Reflection means okay, that is when okay the light okay uh, fall on an object. What it will do is it is bent back to the same medium. Okay, it is called the reflection. So here the reflection is like this. Okay, now here we can say that is a total reflection. Now here it is of a total reflection. What is the partial reflection? Partial, partial uh, reflection means, okay, if you are standing in front of a glass, you can see that at the same time, you can see the other side. Okay, at the same time, you can see your image also in the, okay, that glass. Understand? You can see the image in the glass at that same time you can see the other side also now here why it is so because it is because of the partial reflection because some light is reflected okay some is refracted that is passed to other side understand this is the okay partial reflection that is when the light enter a rarer medium from a denser medium gets partially reflected that is part of the light get reflected and come back to the denser medium as a as per the law of reflection understand that is partially it is reflected it is very important in order to explain the many phenomena of the light that's why i uh, introduced this part here okay in order to understand the rainbow rainbow and the, okay we have to understand it very well. understand what is partial when the light is passing from a rarer medium to the denser medium okay some parties are reflected some parties are refracted understand that is what the partial reflection Okay, now next is of okay. This is called the partial reflection. Understand? Now rest of the light gets refracted. That is there. That is passed to other side. Okay, rarer medium. As the light is going from the denser to the rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. That is angle of incidence is more, smaller and the angle of reflection R. Okay, this R, R is normally it is here, you can say. Because from denser to rarer it is going. That is very important. So here the angle of incident is less and the angle of refraction is more. Sure? No, for a particular value of i, the value of r becomes equal to 90 degree. Now, you can see the difference here. Now, in this case, i is there, r is there. Now, again, further, one light is like this. Here, i is there, r is there. Understand? But here, in this case, at a particular, okay, it is called the critical, okay, value of the incident array. Okay, that is a critical value of this. At this time, okay, it will pass 90 degree like this with the normal. Okay, this angle of refraction is 90 degree. Understand? That is the critical value. Understand? Okay. So, in this particular value, okay, R becomes equal to 90 degree. Sure? This value of I is called the critical angle. What is this? This is the critical angle. What is the critical angle? Critical angle of incidence. Critical angle of incidence is, okay, when the refracted angle is of 90 degree. What is it? Refracted angle is of 90 degree. Then we can say that it is there. Now, then the incident uh, larger. Now, for the angle of incident, larger than the critical angle. Now, it is a critical angle. The angle of refraction is of 90 degree. Now, the, now more than that. Of, now, here it is of critical. Now, again, more angle is weakened. Now, this angle is more than the critical angle. Here is it. 
understand at that time there won't be any refraction look where any refraction is there not there okay then the entire light is uh, okay reflected in the rarer uh, denser medium understand because the light is uh, passing from the denser medium to the rarer medium so here there is no refraction entire light is okay what it is refracted into the denser medium sure all of you okay reflected into the denser medium sorry reflected into the denser medium so it is called the total reflection look here total internal reflection it is called understand so this is called the total internal reflection thus all the light get reflected back into the dense medium okay this is called the total internal reflection understand that is if the incident angle that is when the light is passing from the okay denser medium to rarer medium okay at a particular angle of incident okay the angle of refraction will be 90 degree understanding angle of refraction will be 90 degree okay then that angle of incident is called the critical angle now if the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle okay then the angle there won't be any refraction the entire light will be reflected into the denser medium understand that is called the what is called the total internal reflection it is called sure friends okay that is very important okay then i hope you understand it so we can go to the next part yes see here this is the rainbow here so here in order to understand the rainbow rainbow is a very beautiful phenomena okay that is everyone enjoy especially during the rainy season okay and even we can create okay this rainbow okay you can uh, uh, take a mouthful of water okay then you just uh, split it okay where in a sunny light okay then when you uh, see through that okay moisture that is split uh, splitted that uh, water mo water molecule okay you can see a rainbow there opposite side. now how this rainbow happens okay this rainbow is what we are going to study how actually it is what is the science behind this rainbow that is we are going to study here okay so here it is uh, okay it is the what actually it is the combined effect of uh, many number of natural process it is that is why it is a refraction is there okay then internal reflection is there understand okay like that many is there a dispersion is there there okay refraction is there dispersion is there internal reflection is there. that is what the three we studied first is dispersion okay which are the it is the combined effect of dispersion what is dispersion violet is divided into the seven colors that is called a dispersion next is refracted refracted means when it is passing from the okay denser me uh, rarer medium to the denser medium it changes its path that is a refraction and this is a total internal reflection now you see that okay when the in a denser medium okay if the angle of incident is more than the critical value the total internal reflection will happen that also now only we see okay that is the total internal reflection of the light it can be seen mainly after a rainfall okay yes, sure that after rainfall okay why why actually it is happening it is because of the droplet water droplets okay uh, do, droplet of the okay water okay acts as small prisms yes this is uh, droplets of uh, water acts as mm, small prisms that is when this light passing through this water droplets okay what it uh, started to disperse okay that is why the white light will be dispersed by this okay what uh, water droplets understand when the light ray from the sun enters these droplets okay it gets refracted look you can see here in the okay it is sunlight when it is entered into the droplet it get a refracted sure it get refracted you get white light then here it is a refraction here understand here it is a refraction refraction means it is divided into the seven colors now now then what actually then there is an internal reflection actually it must have to go to that side other side correct no it will not go to the other side the entire light will be how it will be reflected that is called the internal reflection it is the in total internal reflection total internal okay reflection understand then it come to the this side understand so we can see that okay even though the opposite side where when it is of over there they are only the same side you can what here see here it is of okay then okay total internal astronomy okay and after that 
once again the light get refracted again here also again refracted it is okay then okay coming out of the rubber all these three process together we see can see the rainbow so this rainbow is very important okay what we can to remember is it is a beautiful natural phenomena it is the combined effect of number of natural process okay which are this natural process that is very important okay which are this natural process dispersion refraction and the total internal refraction understand refract dispersion refraction and total internal reflection in order we can say it is a refraction dispersion and total internal reflection okay now what if what is uh, the here now it is named normally when it is seen it is seen after the rainfall okay in this after this rainfall okay this small droplets of water act as a prism understand act as a prism so when this white light enter into this droplets it gets dispersed refracted and dispersed two process refracted and dispersed understand so it will be it will get refracted changes its path okay as well as dispersed that is divided into the seven colors then what happens okay then there is an internal reflection that is total internal reflection understand due to that okay again these seven colors are reflected okay okay reflected will not go to the other side and uh, come okay light gets okay uh, to the once again the light again what refla refracted okay then coming out of the droplet so like that it is coming out of the droplet understand okay so this uh, all these process together produces the rainbow so a rainbow we can see like that a bow like that bow why it is a bow like that because of the uh, size of the shape of the water droplet it is round in color okay almost so that's it we can see that because of all this together effect a bow like that we can say it is called the rainbow it is sure all of you friends so very important okay what is the rainbow in short in simple we can say rainbow is the combined effect of refraction dispersion and total internal reflection okay main here the medium is water droplet water droplet act as a prism okay after the rain sure got it very well so okay this is about okay this dispersion i hope you understand very well okay please read the textbook very well okay uh, write the uh, notes okay and study it okay and watch it again and again if any doubt okay please ask okay you can type it in the comment box okay thank you thank you very much